Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about false colors. Let's take a look. What is a false color? Why you should use it? And all the benefits from this amazing plugin. Okay? So, for our tutorial I'm not going to be doing uh, a lot of color grading. I'm just going to break down uh, specifically false color plugin. That way you can understand what is going on. Okay, so here is the shot from Terminator Salvation. Uh, it's going to be our example. And let's apply false color plugin to it. And the whole image kind of looks weird now. And what it does, it tells you specifically the luma value based on the brightness, obviously. So basically, a false color it's exactly the same like scopes like waveform um, like histogram just instead of looking like for example if you really don't know what is going on looking at this picture it's kind of a crazy actually like I don't know where his face is I don't know where the light is I mean it's pretty ridiculous but looking at the waveform I mean on uh, false colors you can see everything by color right away so you don't have to be looking at his face moving over here and try to find what the hell is happening okay so that's one of the biggest perks of using um, false colors so on this example I have gradient from black to white and I'm gonna show you pretty much how false colors works and how to apply it in real life okay so let me add saturation. I know it's black and white sort of, but you'll you'll see why I did that. Okay. So let me drop false color plugin over here. And as you can see, the image looks exactly like our false color bar right over here. And I hope it's easy for you to understand how it works. Basically the brightest values correspond with the number over here. It's very simple, very straightforward. So let's try to apply this in a real life grading example. So let's say, let's go back to our example over here. So let's say you want to give it a look and let's turn on false color and see where basically main of the look um, corresponds on the false colors. We can see that this image is very dark pretty much everything in the look happening in the shadows in the bottom of the midtones let's turn it on so we have main look happening between 10 and I would say 35 well we can see that this image is sort of a little bit green let's go over here and let's go in the log and let's dial our low range into 100 and high range into 350 okay and let's try to sort of recreate that green look right over here and I'm gonna I'm not gonna be going too clever with this I'm just gonna pull and and drag and I'm gonna increase saturation so you kind of can see it a little bit better okay and if I'm gonna turn on the false color you can see exactly what area been affected I hope that makes sense I know it's kind of complicated at the very beginning when you don't have enough practice but it's very easy to understand and I really highly recommend start using false colors unless you have a professional grading monitor like Flanders that this false color function comes with it and you can switch between all right so I hope that was simple enough if not um, leave a comments below and I'm going to try to answer all your questions. Okay. Thank you for watching.